Middle Eastern migrants started coming to Australia in the 1970s, bringing with them traditions and food that are some of the richest and most ancient known to mankind. They have certainly made their mark. After all, who hasn't had a late night kebab after a night on the booze? However, the Middle East is a region of 21 countries with millennia worth of history. Cheap roadside kebabs are not exactly the best they have to offer. Arabesque is a family-oriented business serving authentic Jordanian and other Middle Eastern favorites. Your Melbourne CBD location in Elizabeth Street is beautifully fitted and has a casual and relaxed atmosphere. In addition to the restaurant, they have a cafe and a shisha lounge which is a truly Middle Eastern way of life. For starters, we had the mutabel which is a dip made from char-grilled eggplant, tahini, and sumac. Delicious! We also tried a couple of their traditional iced teas. For mains, we ordered the national dish of Jordan, mansaf. It is a slow-cooked lamb in a jamid sauce, which is a cheese made from yogurt, served over rice with some fried almonds and parsley. It was unlike anything we have ever tried. It was very good. The other dish we ordered is sarb, a traditional Bedouin barbecue of lamb ribs. The lamb was so tender. I'm not sure if the lamb was salted, but when eaten with the rice and accompanying sides, it was absolutely beautiful. This was the standout dish of our meal. Right in the heart of Ligon Street, Leyalina is regarded by its patrons to have the most authentic Egyptian food in Melbourne. The use of flavors from the motherland and cooking techniques that date back centuries offer the most unique Middle Eastern experience. We ordered the mixed grill. The moza dani, which is a slow roasted lamb shank. Koshari, a carbohydrates extravaganza of lentils, rice, macaroni, chickpeas, topped with fried onions and a tomato garlic sauce. And molokea, a soup made with jute leaves and one of Egypt's national dishes. It was an enjoyable experience for us. We discovered a lot of new and unfamiliar flavors albeit some of them may be an acquired taste. But there are also some elements that they share with other Middle Eastern cuisines. The roasted lamb shack was the standout dish of the evening. It was full of the bone tender. The Afghan Gallery is a family business that serves traditional Afghan recipes handed down through generations. Think mouth-watering kebabs, hearty soups, and kormas. Located in Fitzroy, the venue used to be an art gallery in 1981. It transitioned into a restaurant a year after, but maintaining its name. The venue is warm and welcoming, and decorated with traditional ornaments express the passion and pride the owners have for their culture and their people. For 
starters, we ordered the mantu, which is a dumpling made with minced lamb and topped with yogurt and dried herbs. Bit spicy, delicious. For mains, we ordered the kima kebab, lawand, which is a lamb cooked in a yogurt sauce, along with Afghan Cuban rice and salad. Again, some familiar flavors but with subtle nuances compared to other Middle Eastern versions. Special mention to their rice. It was perfectly cooked, perfectly seasoned, and perhaps one of the best rice side dishes we have ever had. That was thoroughly enjoyable and educational. Middle Eastern food is deeper and more complex than we have ever imagined. It has opened up a whole new world of flavors, one we are keen to keep exploring. If you liked this video, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more food adventures. Till next time!